Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're diving deep into the world of custom ROMs to review the Derpfest GSI ROM, specifically its first Android 16 custom ROM and GSA build, which is a game changer for many devices, especially older ones. We'll explore its features, performance, and any bugs you should be aware of. Stick around because this one is truly amazing. Derpfest OS, a long-standing player in the custom ROM scene, has released its first Android 16 custom ROM with an official GSI build. This means that even older, unofficial generic devices can now enjoy an official custom GSI version. After testing it on a OnePlus 9, the clean Android 16 look, features, and performance are truly impressive. It's widely compatible and offers a minimal yet powerful experience. To ensure stability, the video recommends using DS Loader installation, with a tutorial available in the iCard. A step-by-step -step video on flashing the fully working GSI build in fastboot mode is also coming soon. This official Derpfast OS build, maintained by amazing developers, runs on Android 16 with June 2025 security patches and was built on July 8, 2025. It's based on the Android 16 beta release from June 5, 2025. You might be wondering if it's worth trying, and the answer is a resounding yes. All essential features are working perfectly. Wi-Fi, hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, location, night mode, and Chromecast are all functional. Even LTE calling is available and working, with a small tweak to enable it. All sensors were tested and found to be working fine. A major highlight of this ROM is its ability to run highly secured banking applications like Axis, SBI, IDBI, PhonePay, and Google Pay, despite play integrity checks failing. This is thanks to an inbuilt bootloader spoofing module deeply integrated into the operating system. Furthermore, DRM security info is L1, allowing you to stream Netflix and Amazon Prime at full HD resolution. This ROM includes all stable Android 16 features, such as the new brightness slider and a QS panel with bouncy animations for all tiles. The bug of the QS panel in light mode is also resolved. The QS panel boasts an Android 16 notification look and a new UI for the clear all button, along with new shortcuts like notification history and settings. The Derpfast OS settings panel has its own categorized look, You'll also find the new Android 16 UI for on-off toggles, colored clocks on the always-on display, and an Android 16 battery information option to determine battery health. Beyond stock features, Derpfest offers its own customization settings, including Monet theming and status bar customization. While the QS panel customization is currently empty, it will be available with new updates. The lock screen features working edge lightning for AOD notifications. In miscellaneous settings, a new Load Keybox Data option allows you to load custom keyboxes to bypass basic device and strong integrity checks. The ROM also offers game space for an interference-free and better gaming experience, and a new table setting application with Material Expressive Design 3. Two Derpsest built applications are included, a chord music player with Material U Expressive Design and cool animations, and the Fi-Fi Gallery application with advanced settings for photo and video categorization. You can even add photo widgets to your home screen. Now for the bugs. Long pressing the power button to activate Google Gemini causes screen flickering, although you can still access it by swiping from the display corner. Circle to search isn't working after a long press on the nav bar, but a mod video link is available to activate it. Punch hole camera misalignment of icons is still present, though a temporary fix exists via display cutout settings, it reverts after reboot. There's no unlimited Google Pixel photo backup feature. Unfortunately, under display fingerprint and face unlock are not working, so you'll rely on password or pin security for now. While fingerprint and face unlock are major bugs, others are minor issues. Despite the bugs, the performance of this ROM is next level. Even with heavy app usage for one to two hours, there were no system slowdowns. App opening, closing, multitasking, scrolling, and animations are all buttery smooth, without any lag. There are no heating issues, and the device stays cool during day-to-day -day tasks. 
Based on its performance, working features, and even with the minor bugs, this ROM is a game changer in the custom GSI ROM world. It's one of the few officially supported ROMs, guaranteeing regular updates that will address most issues. You absolutely must try this build at least once. That's all for today, guys. Hope you liked our work. Please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for notifications of amazing in-depth previews of custom ROMs, GSI builds, new Android mods, and much more. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.